What up, folks? I'm back once again doing another video game review, and this time I'm reviewing Mike Tyson's Punch Out for the NES. And this particular game, you're playing as a little Mac trying to go up the ranks and face uh, Mike Tyson for his championship. Now, of course, to be to be world champion in in in, 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 in the game. You fight like different boxers from around the world, and move up the ranks to, to to eventually get a shot at Mike Tyson for his championship. Now there's like three different uh, circuits in the game that you that you go through: the minor circuit, the major circuit, and the world circuit. Now, with each circuit. Is, has a certain number of bosses that you have to face before you have a title shot, and the the, the minor circuit is relatively short. It's relatively short because you have to fight Flash Joe, Von Kaiser, and Piston Honda. Now the the, the major circuit is, is a tad bit long. You have like um, Don Flamingo, King Hippo. The great drag, the great tiger, and uh, ball bull. I think that's his. Um, I think that's the guy's name on the great, the great dragon. If, if I'm wrong, if somebody mentioned it in the comment section. I'm talking about the one guy you face right before ball bull, and the ball bull is the fight is champion of the um may is the major major circuit champion, while um Pistana is the minor circuit champion. Now, after you beat both Ball Bull and Piss and Honda, you're treated to a cutscene where you see a uh, little Mac training with his uh, trainer in uh, most likely it's uh, Central Park. In the background, you go into like see like like the buildings in New York in New York, and they'll end with you seeing the Statue of Liberty. And it will stop, and it will give you like a code for the like the next the circuits you that they, that you go through. Now the world circuit, you are going to face different ones like Super Macho Man, Mr. Sandman. Plus you face Don Flamingo, uh, Ball Boy, and the and uh, Piston Honda again. I can say that. It's it's first the first half of the game. Uh, First two circuits are are easy per se. I say the world's the, the minor circuit is, is like the easiest section in the game. The minor the the major circuit is a, a tad more is a more it's more challenging. You know what I'm saying? And the and the and the world circuit is the toughest part of the um of the game. You know and um. And when you get to Mike Tyson, man, he's man. When he hits you, you go down with one punch. You, you know, <laughs> it's like a few months ago. I say two months ago. I played I played Mike Tyson punch on the emulator and put a put in a code for me to fight Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson, shoot, I lost in like 15 seconds. Uh, I trust me. I didn't expect to go down with one punch each time. Each time, I'm, I'll be honest about that. It goes to show how tough he is in the game. And to be truthful, Mike Tyson is probably the toughest final boss of any game of all time. It, it, he's possibly that. He's definitely like the hardest boss that I ever faced in the NES game. He's shown even tougher than Dracula from uh, Castlevania. That's how, t that's how tough I think he is. Now, when you, now when you beat Mike Tyson, what he'll do is like he'll pretty much congratulate you on your win. He say he, um, uh, he pretty much did, he didn't take you seriously at first. Now, now since you won, he he could. He, he, he mentioned that you were a good fighter and everything. Now, Mike Tyson's punch out is a good game. 
and it's also a hard one. It can be especially frustrating to be hard if you fight like a lot of the boxers for the first time, especially in like the in the world circuit like Mike Tyson, Super Macho Man, one of the one of those boxers in the later stages of the game. Yeah, yeah. And as far as like the graphics and the level design of the soccer sign, it it is pretty good. It is and it and it it does hold up. It really does hold up. But like the uh, later punch out games, the one for Super Nintendo and the and the punch out for Wii ha do do have like better graphics and level design than this one. So that's saying I uh, but to me it's like when it comes to like franchises within the uh well under the Nintendo ban banner, see like the graphics to games like Punch Out Metroid, Zelda, pretty much getting better with each game, in my opinion. It's better to see, like, certain games, like, um, like Super Metroid, this has a, has this particular standard with, um, that came out of the Super Nintendo games. But, but anyway, the graphics and the level design are pretty good and fun to look at. The soundtrack, even though it, it it is limited, it is a finny, a pretty fun soundtrack to listen to. So the the the, the numbers, the tunes in the in the soundtrack, even though it's like I said, it is limited. It's not like this made in turfers, but it's really like excellent. One of the best soundtracks I've heard that that I that were made that was put in the uh, NES game. And the controls, they, that's pretty good also. I'll say this quite possibly the best aspect of Mike Tyson's punch out, in my opinion. Some might say it's the graphics, some might say it's the uh, uh the soundtrack, some might say it's the, the exchange between the little Mac little Mac and one of the boxers between uh rounds. And w one thing I do have to say when facing Mike Tyson punch out if you score, if you're able to score uh, five thousand points and you don't knock them out, don't knock them out in a, in like a TKO, you will win by decision. It, it, and it's pretty much, like I honestly say, it's a well earned victory in my opinion. And and the only real gripe that I have is really the difficulty, but it's kind of like it's one of those. It's not that big of a deal. It's it, it is really minor because the diff it's, this game is more challenging than frustrating, in my opinion. Now, as far as the score is concerned, I give this game a nine. Some might say, like one out of ten. It's kind of like. Got one, but it is, but it's still a pretty good one. I would say, why well, would give it a nine? Uh, the only thing I can think of is the, the soundtrack, as good as it is, it's, it's kind of limited. Really, I wish they, I would wish they had like more, just more. I just wish that the soundtrack just had more variety to it. I get this. Really, like the only reason that I can think of, so I might say it's not not that big of a deal, but but it's but I still like it. I still like the soundtrack to the, to Mike Tyson's Punch Out. Now, with that being said, if you if Mike Tyson's Punch Out is your favorite NES game, or if you want to talk about um, uh, fighting Mike Tyson, if you want to talk about if you beat them or not or anything of that nature, you can mention it in the comment section. You can you can bring this also mention the first time you you faced them or beat them or whatever the case may be. You can also mention that. You can also mention which uh, punch out game is your is your favorite also. And don't forget to click, click the subscribe button and don't forget to subscribe. This is your boy. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. This is your boy, Big Mike 5989, signing off.